We are often told that time heals everything, but that's not always true. Time cannot heal colonial crimes, for instance. The Jallianwala Bagh massacre is still fresh in the hearts of Indians. Congo has not healed from the torture of Belgium's rule. You already know what happened at Jallianwala. Let me tell you about the Congo story. Between 1885 and 1960, 10 million Congolese died. Rather, they were killed by Belgium's policies, be it through forced labor or famines. Belgium orchestrated human rights abuse of the worst kind in Congo. And Belgium is not sorry. Like Britain, Belgium too has just regrets to offer for its colonial crimes. Listen to this. On the occasion of my trip to Congo, right here, in front of the Congolese people and those who today are still suffering, I wish to reaffirm my deepest regrets for those past wounds. This is Belgium's King Philippe. He was speaking during his first visit to Congo, and this is King Leopold II. He once ruled Belgium. This was between 1885 and 1908. From the day Leopold II came to power, he made Congo his personal property. Congo was turned into a labor camp. People were forced to grow rubber, and everyone was given a quota to meet. While the harvest made Leopold II richer, back in Congo, people's hands were cut off for not meeting their quota. If a family failed to produce enough natural rubber, the hands of women and children were cut off too. Those who resisted the atrocities had their feet cut off. Here too, Belgian troops did not spare women and children. Apparently, chopping off limbs was Belgium's way of proving their superiority over the Congolese. Goes without saying, the people of Congo lived in brutal conditions. Women were raped, tormented. Leopold II oversaw these atrocities. The Belgian king died in 1909. A year before his death, Congo was transferred to the Belgian government. From a personal property, Congo became a colony. But its suffering and humiliation continued. Congo finally became independent in 1960, but Belgium did not let go of its colony easily. Belgium's then king delivered an address celebrating Leopold II, even calling him a genius. Congo's independence is the achievement of the work devised by the genius of King Leopold II. Congo is reaching the status on this day, the 30th of June, 1960. When Congo elected its first prime minister, Belgian-backed secessionists assassinated him. In 2002, the Belgian government took partial responsibility for this assassination. Cut to 2022, many in Congo say, while they may be able to forgive Belgium for colonizing their country, the, at the atrocities cannot be forgiven. Earlier this week, when King Philippe landed in Kinshasa, the people of Congo were expecting an apology, and rightly so. As a Congolese, I can say welcome to the Democratic Republic of Congo, Your Majesty. But this time, have the courage to say sorry to the Congolese people. The simple regret that you have expressed is not enough, because since the independent state of Congo, with the hands cut off, it is the Congo that bore the weight of two world wars for the benefit of Belgium. Philippe did not apologize. King Leopold II was the brother of Philippe's great-great-grandfather, which makes Philippe not just a, a successor, but also family. Let us write this new chapter together without forgetting the past but by assuming it fully in order to transmit to the new generation. Well, that's the thing about colonial criminals. They hate accountability. Be it Britain or Belgium, the mindset is the same. Not apologizing for past crimes is their way of burying uncomfortable history. Do you know Belgium's colonial rule is not even taught properly in their own schools? Apparently, the country does not like to talk about its colonial past. Well, I have bad news for Belgium. People will hold Belgium accountable sooner rather than later. Remember, Leopold II's statue was one of the many symbols of hate that people defaced during the 2020 protests. People are rising up against attempts to whitewash history. Sooner rather than later, both Belgium and Britain will have to apologize for their colonial crimes. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.